to be able to bring a smile or a giggle, um, it means everything in the world to me. You know? Actors do some pretty wild stuff for their roles, but when you play characters like Johnny Depp has, well, things can get pretty extreme. That was quite something. Number one, it sounds appealing, until it really doesn't. Preparing to bring that wacky Captain Jack Sparrow to Pirates of the Caribbean meant that Depp spent a lot of quality time with his sauna. I sat there for as long as I could until it started to affect me mentally. Which is to say, it was very, very hot, as was my brain. You do what you gotta do. The heat was very important for me. Number two, trade those pearly whites for something a bit more dazzling. Is there anything more luxurious than gold? Depp felt it only made sense for Jack Sparrow to have gold teeth and pirates, but the film's producers weren't so into just how many he wanted. Until Johnny gave them no choice by having a dentist implant a bunch of extra gold teeth in his mouth. Yeah, I just sort of went to the dentist and he, he bonded him. Trying to convince Depp otherwise would have resulted in literally pulling teeth. Number three, it's a bit different when your character has scissors for hands. I don't think I've ever laughed so much in my life. It was still quite early in Depp's career when he originated the role of Edward Scissorhands, so he wanted to commit everything he had, which included wearing his scissor hands around his house to get a feel for them. I just used to put them on in my house. But it led to some trouble. There was a couple of incidents where I uh, lanced a few people especially when he tried to sleep with them on. After slumbering for a bit, Depp would be shocked to find that... I woke up and the hands were completely across the room. I'd flung them off during the night at some point. We don't blame him. Number four, when you agree to a Tim Burton film, you're committing to having anything thrown at you. I'm scared to death. Depp reported for work on Sleepy Hollow when Burton told him he was going to have an intense horse stunt coming. I was going to be holding on to that, being dragged through the, through the muck and other stuff for the next two days. The fact that the horses didn't seem to have super great digestive systems made for a pretty stressful shoot for Depp. Number five, a full day of work, just to get ready for work? That was the reality when Depp was playing in Black Mass. The actor prioritized looking as much like the real life person he'd be portraying, which meant a whole lot of prosthetics. And those were far from comfortable. With all that and the makeup combined, there were long days in the makeup chair and on set, but it was worth it for the flawless transformation. Number six, it was all work for the character. Hunter was a lot of things to me. To play a person like Hunter S. Thompson, sometimes you've really got to immerse yourself. So he invited me to his house that night. Depp took residence in Thompson's basement, also known as the dungeon, which was full of spiders and a keg of gunpowder. Not only did he live in Thompson's house though, he lived his lifestyle. This involved a 10 a.m. bedtime, 7 p.m. breakfast with TV watching, bar visiting, and endless chats to fill in all that time. Number seven, it wasn't sweet as sugar. In Edward Scissorhands, Depp's character gets fed with some giant spoonfuls of stuff, but going through filming that 20 times left Depp puking in the back. More vomiting ensued when the actor had to run from the police at full speed. Only this time he didn't make it to the 20 takes, simply disappearing to get sick in the bushes after running for the sixth time. Number eight, they fit him like a glove, literally. Okay, let's set the scene. Depp was portraying John Dillinger in Public Enemies, and when he encountered John Dillinger's actual pants, well, he couldn't resist but trying them on. Even though the real John Dillinger had passed away. Then he took it all a step further by actually staying in the same room that his on-screen character did. Creepy much? Number nine, losing weight for a role is nothing new. But when the actor is already pretty slender to begin with, well, it's downright dangerous. Filming 21 Jump Street, Depp was already slim, but then he had to lose an extra 25 pounds for the part, and afterwards, he was looking kind of unhealthy. I wanted to get fired from that show. Number 10. It's like a stroke of genius, but, well, awful. The scissor hands surprisingly weren't the worst part of playing Edward Scissorhands, since the actor had to deal with sweating through outrageous heat just for the sake of his performance. This was in part because Depp was so committed to creating a real and empathetic character, and while he did accomplish that, he also wound up with heat stroke. Number 11. Ready, aim, fire. I felt like it was being... Um, like it was a test, in a way. While we can't picture anyone else but Johnny Depp in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, it wasn't always a sure bet. Hunter S. Thompson, of course, had a pretty big say in who would be taking on the instrumental role in Fear and Loathing. So when Thompson was getting to know Depp, he decided to see how Depp would feel using a weapon to shoot at a propane tank with some glycerin on the outside. It's about 2.33 in the morning. <laughs> So of course I wanted to fire him. Depp obliged, Depp got the role, and a whole lot of stories to go with it. The explosion was an 80-foot fireball. Number 12, but not in a fun way. 
Depp dealt with being dragged along by horses during Sleepy Hollow, but he didn't anticipate going through it again on the Lone Ranger set. The actor took on a risky stunt himself, and while he wasn't meant to be dragged by the horse, he wound up falling off and got dragged behind it for a full 25 feet. There, Are you? Oh my goodness. Number 13. A captain is a captain through and through. Johnny Depp went a bit off the rails when he agreed to fully steer the ships when they were filming pirates. It might have seemed innocent enough, but Depp was clearly not super experienced in manning a ship of this size. Any chaotic ship movements that we see in the film were au naturel. Number 14. Chocolate is great, unless you're allergic to it. Normally, filming a movie called Chocolat would be a pretty sick deal, but Depp wasn't living the dream since he used to be allergic to chocolate. He ate tons of it on set, but he was constantly spitting it out in a bucket. Number 15. Sometimes you've got to go all in. Hunter Thompson is one of the greatest writers of the 20th century, without question. Johnny Depp was all about that Hunter S. Thompson life, so it's no surprise that he literally trusted Thompson to just shave his hair off for the part. Number 16. Sometimes you've got to switch it up. Depp was all about the wacky choices, so when filming Tusk, he decided it would be a good time to try out a totally wild accent. Good afternoon to you, sir. I am Guy Lapointe. One that wound up sticking. On top of it, the weirdly shaped nose prosthetic he wore was all Depp's idea. Number 17. Plane flying means some serious business. When filming Rum Diary, Johnny Depp was worried he was going to lose his life when for a few moments, the plane didn't seem to be working, leaving most of the people on board thinking they were going to crash. Let's just say Depp was uber relieved to have his feet on the ground again. Number 18. He's a hero in our eyes. Okay, so he didn't do this for the role, but on set for Public Enemies, he did put himself in a whole lot of danger by jumping in front of a bunch of extras to protect them from getting hit by a rogue car on set. Number 19. Man's best friend is a horse, right? Depp got to know his horse co-star on the Sleepy Hollow set pretty well, so when he learned that the horse wasn't going to get to live much longer, he took it upon himself to buy the horse, giving it a second chance at life. Number 20. We're throwing it way back. 21 Jump Street, the TV show, not the movie, was Depp's first major TV role and he wanted to make a splash, often suggesting all kinds of wacky ideas to the producers, but perhaps the strangest of all, peanut butter. The actor offered to have other actors smearing peanut butter all over his naked body to mix things up in the show. The producers weren't smiling. Ultimately, the team didn't go for it, but he was more than ready to go there. Johnny Depp has brought some wild characters to life, making for some very interesting prep processes and practices. Which situation do you think would have been most intense to deal with? 